Tom Tarks here with Midline and Mendham. It's Friday morning, April 28th, 2017. We're here today with your Friday first look video with a focus on achieving high yields in your soybean plants. For this morning, we're gonna to talk to you a lot about vegetative growth and, and the type of management that you can put on your farm this year, the things that you can do to put in place to, to achieve maximum vegetative growth and how that's gonna impact yield. There's two primarily management, two primary management practices that we as growers have that we can do to impact this. One is planting date, early planting being desirable over late planting, and planting population. And we'll talk about where that plays into as far as your size of planter, uh, type of farm you're going on, and, and planting date, etc. You know, I think there's a common theme when you talk about vegetative growth and why it has such an impact on yield. The, the more vegetation you have out there, the more nodes you're going to have. And the more nodes you have, the more flowers you'll have. The more flowers, the more pods, the more pods, the more beans, and the higher the yield. I think you kind of see what we're talking about here. You know, as far as planting date, planting dates can have so much impact as far as vegetative growth per plant, whereas plant popu population is going to have more impact on vegetative growth per acre. And we'll talk about those differences and how to manage those. You know, when you consider a soybean plant, it's got two types of growth stages, your vegetative stages. And then a lot of that vegetative growth, I, I would encourage you to consider a lot like available nitrogen to a corn plant. You know, late in the season, the more available nitrogen that corn plant has, the better it's going to be at grain field, the better grain fill, the better test weight, etc. Same thing with vegetative growth on, on a plant. It's going to give you the opportunity for more nodes and to take us down that, that life cycle that we talked about that will lead to yield and higher profits. From a reproductive standpoint in, in, in plants, you know, we want to think about the date of June 21st. And why do we say June 21st? With soybeans, irregardless of planting date, irregardless of maturity, once we get about 8 to 12 days past that longest day of the year, we're going to begin to see that plant transition from vegetative growth into reproductive growth stages. And that typically falls around that June 20th, June 21st time frame. So basically what we have as growers is, is we've kind of got this vegetative growth race based upon the day the planter leaves that field to, where, to determine how much vegetative growth and how much time that plant's going to have to grow vegetation before we get to that 21st of June date. Now consider this, and I, I think this maybe kind of puts it into a number standpoint for you guys that maybe, maybe think or are kind of wired that way much like I am. From that first trifoliate, from when that first bean plant emerges, from that first trifoliate, it's going to take about three and a half days for a new node set to occur within that plant. If you'll consider, you know, maybe this example of of, you know, today's the 28th of, of April, and compare that to the 28th of May. That's gonna be an extra 30 days for that thing to set nodes every three and a half days. That's gonna put you out there with an extra eight to nine nodes over waiting till the end of the month to put that crop in the ground. And I think you begin to see if that's gonna have a complete impact on flowers, pods, grain, etc. you begin to see how on a per plant basis, how vegetative growth has a tremendous impact on what your overall yield's going to be. Now, as we consider that per plant, let's maybe transition into a per acre standpoint and what we can do on a per acre side of things to impact increases in vegetative growth. And so much of it has to do with plant population. You know, and I want to talk to you maybe from a baseline standpoint of, of average to above average farms, and we'll talk to you in terms of ideal blue field plant populations for southwest Iowa. You know, in 30 inch soybeans, we really think 120,000 is all you need to achieve maximum yield. In 15 inch rows, we'd like to see around 140, and in drilled scenarios, we'd like to see at 170. And I would encourage you to, to write those three numbers down and think about those as we kind of walk through some of our examples here. Um, you know, from in Southwest Iowa, according to Iowa State University, roughly April 25th would be when the top of the yield curve hits and we start to work our way downward from there. So let's consider this. If we get a week past that April 25th date, I would encourage you to start increasing plant populations off those ideal baselines, 10 to 15,000 plants per week. Meaning we get one week past into that first week of May, that scenario with 30 inch soybeans where we talked about 120,000, let's bump that up to 131.35. More plants equals more vegetation equals more nodes, more flowers. I think you understand kind of the common theme here. We get that second week out from that April 25th date, let's add another 10 to 15,000 and so forth and so on. And I think if you begin to look at it from that standpoint, early planting dates are going to really impact vegetative growth per plant. Plant population is going to increase and, and really impact the amount of vegetative growth per acre. 
I would also encourage you that 10 to 15,000 bump, I wouldn't only apply that rule to, uh, you know, a, a uh, you know, row spacing or changing that into a, a, you know, each week we pass kind of standpoint. I would encourage you to also look at that a little bit on, you know, if we got some of these tougher farms, some of these knobbier farms, maybe the one you're not quite so proud of, I would encourage you to increase population on, on those, those thinner farms too. I think, again, you're going to put more vegetative growth out there. You're going to give that plant that opportunity to have more nodes, more flowers, more pods, more beans per acre. As we get into looking at all that together, I think you're going to have a scenario that's going to give you a chance to A, manage vegetative growth per plant, as well as per acre. So with that, guys, I think we'll leave you here this morning. I hope that gives you some tips to consider as you're looking at your planting schedule. Dial that plant population up as the season progresses. Take a look at your farms, evaluate them as far as maybe a good, better, best scenario, and look at different populations based upon that. So with that, guys, it's April 28th, 2017. Again, my name is John Tarks. My phone number is 402-672-6951. This has been your Friday First Look video for April 28th. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much.